Liv? Mom, one second. Is everything okay? Oh, I could never eat in here. It smells like death. You get used to it. I'm here about your brother. He's not well. I, I don't mean physically. He's, he's out of PT. He's back in school. But his grades are a catastrophe. Remember my B in typing? He thought the sky was falling. He's getting Fs. He's coming home hours after his curfew. God help you if you ask him where he's been. He's in therapy. How can I help? You can leave him alone. Stop leaving voicemails for him. No more emails, no more texts. I want him to know I'm here for him. When you leave your messages, all he hears is one more reminder of how the person he loves more than anyone in this world was willing to let him die. Will you do this for me? Hey. Hey. Come in. You want a soda? Something to eat? Vodka? I don't think so. This isn't my idea. My therapist sent me. It's good that you have one. And if he's telling you to talk to your sister, I like him already. It's a she. She said that I need to express my feelings to you, or I won't move on. Move on? From you. Huh. I'm liking her less. She also knows that I've spent every single day since the explosion wondering why you just bailed on me. Liv, I need to know. So here is the deal. You tell me why right now, or you're out of my life forever. Maybe we should have that vodka. Liv. You can't tell anyone. Not mom, not your therapist. Lives are at stake. The night of the boat party, I contracted a disease, a rare one. I'm not dying. Dying, wrong word, I'm not going anywhere. What do you have? I get fits. And when they happen, I lose control. I'm not myself. I have a compulsion to eat. I need to eat brains. Human brains. That's why I work at the morgue. It's so you're saying you came down with a case of the zombies? Those people who died at the party, they were killed. By zombies? I got scratched, and when I woke up... Well, shut up! I don't want to listen to this crap anymore. Evan, it's true. I can prove it to you. What are you doing? Put the knife down, you're freaking me out. I'm afraid that's gonna get a lot worse before it gets better. This is gonna hurt. No! But still, you were sure that I'd rather be dead than be a zombie? I wasn't sure. For a long time after I became a zombie, I wasn't certain I wanted to go on living. Whether I wanted to give you blood or not wouldn't have mattered. The moment they tested my blood, checked my pulse, they would have put me on a gurney beside you. They needed to be finding a donor, not freaking out about your sister, the walking, talking corpse. I'm sorry I didn't feel like I could tell you. Or mom. It's a truly horrible secret to lay on someone. You're sorry? You've been going through complete hell and I've been... I'm going to ruin this moment by bringing up your grades. 
Mom came to see me. Oh, of course she did. She's just concerned. My, my grades aren't about you, okay? Then what is it about? I'm seeing someone. And she's a bad influence? Well, she's a he. You mean... Evan, are you telling me that Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. Well, this is quite the conversation, huh? But that's great. You're being who you are. Finding yourself. Yeah, Rainbow prayed for me. You know I'm Team Evan. Everyone will be fine with it. I know, angsting about being gay is so early aughts or whatever, but I'm not at yay me yet. I'm still kind of freaking out. What's his name? Matt. He wants to go to homecoming together. AKA, come out to every single person I know at once. How many people are you out to now? I'm talking to her.